Um, I'm fairly new to Breckenridge. This is my second year as superintendent there. And uh, there are many great things about Breckenridge as, as we feel about all our communities. One of the things that um, I was thrilled to find out about when I came to Breckenridge is the partnership collaboration that we have with Partnership for Health. Because um, I feel strongly about educating students academically, certainly, but also educating them um, about their physical health and their, their emotional, mental health, and spiritual health as well. And so our partnership for health collaboration has helped us do some of those things. And I just want to share a few of those with you. Um, one of the things I thought was really neat is um, on some of our property, there's been an orchard, fruit orchard planted. And so uh, the fruit orchard allows two things. It allows us to have some of our own produce and for kids to understand the process of growing um, fruit and that fruit is good and healthy and, and we incorporate that now we're starting to actually reap some of the benefits of the labor and their bear, the trees are starting to bear fruit and we had some apples um, for the kids this year but also science classes get to go out and um, look at the trees and do some work with them and so each tree is labeled uh, with both its scientific and then its common name and some other data about it and so uh, it's an educational tool as well as something that we can use um, in our cafeteria. Another program that I think is, is really neat is JAWS. It stands for Jogging and Walking Students. And what this program does is encourage, encourages students uh, after their lunch to, instead of sitting or uh, maybe even getting into some mischief, um, possibly being negative towards one another, it encourages them to walk or jog. And if it's nice enough outside, they do it outside. If it's uh, a cold day that you all know we can have some of those in Minnesota in the winter, then they're inside. Um, and they get they have a ticket and there are people that punch their tickets and um, they, when they go around um, and they get little rewards and at the end of the year um, they get their name in a hat and somebody's name is drawn and last year the, the, the winning person got a pair of tennis shoes. I thought that was very clever. Um, we also participate in the walk and bike to school program. And this is just a, a father with a couple of his children um, helping them to school. What I like about that program is that not only do now kids, our, our families and our community more aware of walking, biking to school, on that one day, they do it every day. Um, this is the front lawn of the elementary middle school, and that is not uncommon on a nice day to see that many bikes in the front yard, and I, just, I think that's awesome. We, uh, our local law enforcement, um, in collaboration with Partnership for Health, does a bike rodeo for us as well. And um, of course, we want our students biking, but we want them to be safe. And so this is just a wonderful way to ensure that safety for both students and parents, I notice, get some good advice for that too. Um, we, part, we partner in many other ways, and just a few other of, of, of those um, are through Partnership for Health, health helping us uh, serve healthier meals in our school. And because of their work, uh, we uh, received the Silver Award for Healthier U.S. Schools. And the only thing I'll say about that is um, uh, this is an ongoing process, and as a superintendent, uh, you get calls about various things. And I think that I have received more calls about why we don't have ranch dressing anymore than <laughs> some of the other things I thought might be hot, hotter ticket items in a public school. Uh, we were recipients of one of the bike fleets, very grateful for that. Uh, we have bikes that our students can use in our FIA classes, but also in the community. And we've been able to kind of pay that forward and uh, extend those bikes to some other community groups and other communities as well. Uh, we've received some FIAT equipment that we maybe wouldn't be able to have on our own, but through this partnership we're allowed to have um, some unique things. And then we participate in the Food Hub collaboratively with Lakes and uh, also Partnership for Health, so we can bring local, locally grown produce into our school cafeteria and introduce students to foods maybe they aren't familiar with uh, because they don't have that at home, but just also healthier eating habits, fresh healthy food. So again, um, I could go on and on about this, but my time is up. And um, I just want to say thank you because it's been a wonderful thing for our school district.